good. So watch how he does it. He'll start at the bottom, and that's low pressure, and he works his way up. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about shingle roofs today. So down here in Florida, we get mainly tile roofs, all right? So anytime we get a chance to do a shingle roof, it just makes, it's like a treat, all right? Because the shingles produce less runoff. The tiles pr produce a lot more runoff. So this is going to be a little time lapse of how we clean the roofs. But the most important things, guys, is we always rinse. We always rinse at least a third of the roof. If there's gutters, we're going to rinse a third. If there's no gutters, we'll rinse at least half. And that's starting from the bottom up. And the reason why you start from the bottom up is because you want to rinse that fascia, that flashing, and the gutter out, if there is a gutter. If not, there's a little flashia or fascia or a flashing, they call it. It's metal. You want that rinsed off really good, but you start at the bottom and work your way up. So the bottom section that has the mix on it, you're going to rinse that off. So the next section, when you rinse that, it's not picking up all the chemical underneath it. If you start at the top, it's going to run down all that chemical from the top, making its way down. So it's going to be a lot stronger of a mix coming off onto the property, and that's not good. So you start at the bottom and work your way up. So as it comes down, it's already rinsed and diluted. It's the best way to do it. And as you're doing that, I'm going to show you in the video. I'm gonna, Trevor's rinsing. I'm going to show you. It, you'll, you'll get an idea of what it looks like. But um, what that does is it gives him a chance to have less of a, uh, a strong mix coming down on those plants. And when he's doing it, he t takes a little bit, rinse a little section of the bottom, then he'll go and rinse the plants really well. Then he'll move on up, then rinse the plants really well. Move up another level. So if you ain't taking at least, it takes 20 minutes. If you ain't taking 20 minutes out of, out of the job to make sure you rinse properly and just rinse all the metal off, the house off, the windows, it makes the roof look so much better right away that you know you're silly not to so basically what i'm saying is just because you're the guys people say the 99 dollar guy destroys the industry no 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 matter what industry they're in there's always going to be the walmart of the uh of the industry okay and what that is it's the guys who charge very low but here's the thing not everyone shops at walmart some people hate Walmart. Some people rather go to Target. It's a next step up. Some people rather go to J.C. Penney's. They know they're spending more money. Some people want to go to their Acne or their Publix or their Shoprite, but then some people want to go to Whole Foods because they want that fresh of the fresh. Same thing with this, guys. People want to buy Honda Civics. People want to buy Ferraris. Not everyone's going to go with the $99 guy. The people who destroy the industry are the people who don't take their time when they're cleaning and they don't rinse correctly and they don't make sure the property's protected yes stuff's gonna happen but if you aren't even trying to make sure stuff ain't happening that's the stuff that kills the industry the guys who don't tape up sockets the guys who don't rinse those are the guys destroying the industry and they're usually the guys not charging enough too so the fact what their pricing isn't destroying the industry it is the people who don't do it correctly so that's my little rant. Hope you enjoy the uh, video on the shingle roof and how we rinse. So follow along. And uh, I appreciate you guys rocking with the Army. Remember, don't give up. Check this out.
We're cleaning this uh, shingle roof. Very easy job, very easy job. But take a look. You always got to be careful of uh, neighbors. All right, folks. So I'm gonna show you guys something. There's no reason why um, people shouldn't be rinsing. It takes 20 minutes. We knock this roof out. While I am, while I am up, or setting up even, while I'm even setting up my roof hose, I got my ground guy rinsing. He's rinsing everything. Whether I'm doing the roof or not, I always have someone rinsing the whole area, all right? Then I get up there, I have that ground guy follow me around. So as I'm going and say I start in the front here, I go back and around, he follows me all the way around. Then when I'm done, I jump down and he just keeps on rinsing, right? Then once I'm all packed up, I usually rinse out my, uh, my uh, blue hose with water and what I'll do is I'll stick that in like a downspout right then I'll have uh, the ground guy rinse the roof now we're gonna rinse at least a third of the roof meaning like we're always gonna rinse the gutters out we're always gonna rinse the faces of the gutters and always at least you know four or five feet up the roof this way just if it rains just a little bit we're safe because the bulk of the uh, soap is off the roof and it just looks better afterwards too. There's really no reason why you shouldn't be rinsing. So it only takes about an extra 20 minutes and it'll save you lots of heartache in the future. So definitely should be rinsing. So Trevor's rinsing this roof. There's no gutters on this side. So if there's no gutters, we rinse uh, at least half, at least, because what happens if it rains just a little bit, all that soap that you see dripping down right now, all that soap's gonna just go down on the grass and we're not gonna be there to rinse it. So if it rains super hard, you're good. So watch how he does it. He'll start at the bottom and that's low pressure and he works his way up. So that way, if he started at the top, it would get so, the strength would be so strong. But if you start at the bottom and work your way up, it comes out a lot better and your dilution is a lot more water versus the chemical so that's the way to do it but this roof came out really good i'll show you how he does it again hold on so he's doing the bottom right now and then he'll hit the ground again and then what he'll do is he'll go up a little further on the uh, roof and then he'll keep everything wet and then come back up There she is, old glory blowing in the wind.